Hello, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, that's right, we're going to be looking at what is better for learning to sail on. The first one is what do you want to end up sailing? Do you have any future aspirations? Is your heart set on becoming a catamaran sailor? Number two, do you want to end up being a generally more versatile and skilled sailor? Keep that in mind. Number three, how much space do you have to go sailing? Number four, how much space do you have available for parking the boat on land? Number five, will you be sailing more alone or perhaps with a friend or family member? And then number six, most importantly, does easy speed really appeal to you? I think you might know where that's going. If you're an experienced sailor watching this, then please do put it in the comments below what type of boat it was that you learnt to sail on and how you feel that turned out for you, whether it was a good idea. By learning to sail on a monohull, you will actually end up being a better all-round sailor. It's much easier to convert from sailing a monohull to a catamaran than the other way around. Now, on the monohull, when you're learning, the monohull is much more responsive. So you'll be getting instant feedback on everything you're doing on the boat. Also, what will make you a better sailor is with a monohull, better balance is required. And you really have to think about where are you sitting on the boat. The monohull is also much, much easier to bring back upright after a capsize. So that means that capsizing shouldn't be too much of a concern. Monoholes are generally better for solo sailing. They're generally smaller and designed specifically for solo sailing. A boat like the RS Zest is, I'd have to say, the perfect boat to learn how to sail on because while you're learning on a single-handed boat like that, you will be the captain of your ship the whole time that you are out there. So you'll be maximising your time on learning how to sail and improving your technique. The monohulls are specifically designed for solo sailing. That means that they're actually lighter, which means they're easier to manage on land, which does make your whole sailing experience a lot easier. They're generally smaller as well, which means parking the boat on land doesn't require as much space. They're easier to transport. A lot of monohulls, especially uh, single-handed monohulls, you can actually transport on the roof of your car, would you believe? And they are generally, this may not sound like such a good point, but they're slower, which means you don't need as big a space of water to sail the boat. Now that can really open up a lot of possibilities for where it is that you can actually go sailing. And as I mentioned, once you've learned sailing on a monohull, it is much easier to convert to a catamaran. The first one, which is the major one, is catamarans are much, much more stable. It means it's much less important where you put yourself on the boat. And from this, they are much less likely to capsize. Now, that's assuming, of course, that you're starting off in lighter winds. You don't have as much of your attention worrying about the balance of your boat, which means you've can much more focus on your course and your sail setting. It's much easier to stop and relax on a catamaran as well. When you stop the boat, 
it does become a very stable platform. If you're sailing somewhere warm, you can stop the boat, jump in, have a swim, get back on the boat, and it is very stable. Then because of the stability as well, taking it to the next level, which would be trapezing, uh, comes along much earlier in a catamaran sailing progression. Catamaran sailing can be more sociable as well, which means that with that bigger, more stable platform, it's much easier to take out an inexperienced friend out sailing with you, which is a a massive bonus means you can sail with more people. If you're sailing from a beach, you could just come in, pick somebody up, take them out. Lovely. No experience required. The catamaran with its two hulls is much easier to beach. You can pull the boat onto a beach. It's very stable on the beach. It's not going to capsize. The catamaran is also, of course, faster. This can be a massive appealing factor. It is easy speed on a catamaran. Compared to monohull sailing, you can pretty much sit on a catamaran, not put any effort at all, and go faster than most monohulls. Of course, catamaran sailing is much cooler than monohull sailing. If you disagree, put it in the comments below. And then a big bonus also with catamaran sailing is one boat could suit your whole progression. Um, so you could just buy one boat, let's say a Hobie 16, and although it will be slightly challenging to start with, that boat will keep you interested throughout your sailing career. No need to upgrade. And then also with the catamaran is they can be more comfortable if you're physically impaired in any way and not having to be as agile around the boat can be a big bonus as well. In a monohull there are many more choices. There are so many different classes of monohull out there um, thousands of different types of boat. Maybe that is a good reason to learn to sail on a monohull because it does give you so much choice of where to take it next. But the most obvious route for monohull sailing single-handed would be to start sailing on something like an RS Zest. And then once you've got the hang of that, maybe you'd keep that boat for a few years then progress into the laser, which is one of the most popular boats in the world. That's enough for most people. Now, with catamaran sailing, there are much fewer classes of boat to choose from. Perhaps that makes it all a bit easier. The stability of the catamaran does mean that once you've got a good handle on the basics, uh, you can pretty much uh, go for whatever type of catamaran as you like, as long as you don't try to sail in too much wind too soon. The big factor with the more advanced racing classes of catamaran is that they are significantly more fragile. But if it wasn't for that, you could pretty much learn on anything available as a catamaran. But a good progression would be starting off sailing on something like a Hobie Getaway and then progressing onto a Hobie 16. You could stop there, many people have. Or you could progress further onto a boat like an F-18. So another massive bonus of learning to sail on a monohull is that there are many, many more places that offer sailing instruction in monohulls. And if you were looking to buy a boat, there are a lot more monohulls out there to choose from. But with the catamaran sailing, contrary to popular belief, it is easier to learn on a catamaran because you don't have to worry about balancing the boat. I hope this has been useful for you. If it has been, please give the video a like, leave a comment, say thank you, this was useful, and I'll see you soon on Joyrider TV with some more.
But until then, perhaps you should check out this video here, which will say more about learning to sail on a catamaran and further considerations that you should be thinking about.